Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a Slimming World update all about the month of July. I will also be talking to you a little bit about what a countdown is. I have now been doing social team for the best part of about three years so because of that the issues and the not quite understanding around a countdown is something that I feel I have to explain a lot and it's something that people have the most issues with which they sometimes take out on me even though I've done nothing wrong and I do not work for Swimming World in any way shape or form. Firstly I'm just going to tell you a little bit about July. I had a very very social July. Swimming World kind of went out the window for the most part of it. July wasn't a great month for me. Over the course of the month I did gain a pound so not very good if I'm honest but August Although I'm not technically talking about that just yet, it has started off well for me. So we'll just say that for now. So without further ado, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the countdown. I want to try and condense this as much as possible, but I have found that countdowns have such a big issue of people not understanding what they are. I don't feel like they're very well explained. I feel like they, although they're a money saving thing for people to do on the Slimming World plan. I also feel like because they're not very well explained, it's also a good way of you losing out on money. And this is just a very quick guide on how to avoid falling into the trap holes that can make you lose your countdown and lose out on that amount of money you've spent. So countdowns come in two ways. They come in a six week countdown and a 12 week countdown. The 12 week countdown often has an offer with it um, a couple of times a year where you'll get a free book but only if you do a 12 week because these are the most expensive ones. The six weeks is about £24.95 and the 12 weeks is £49.50. So although it is a lot of money to put in one go, you do technically get one free week if you do a six week countdown with the way it's all worked out and you get two free weeks if you do a 12 week countdown because obviously it's £4.95 a week to go so £49.50 is obviously ten times that so you get an extra two weeks if you do a 12 week countdown which are technically free for you which is a great offer on the most part however there are quite a few terms and conditions in there that aren't explained we as social team members it comes up on the screen that we have to explain them to you however I found a lot of the time when you then have to explain them to the people they're a bit stumped and essentially a countdown is based around the word commitment I'm gonna try and not use that word too much but it is a commitment is the term the idea of a countdown is that you have paid to come in advance you cannot not go the idea is you have paid for the next 12 weeks of your life to be going to a swimming world group the whole idea is so you can't fall off the wagon so you can't just go oh i've done quite bad this week i can't i'll just won't bother the idea is you've paid for it you've got to go which is the idea that's that's what the countdown is there for but obviously this can pose quite a few issues with people who don't necessarily want to go. The terms and conditions of a countdown is one, if you know that you're not going to be able to make it for a week, you have to book it when you buy your countdown. You cannot book any holiday or time off whilst you are on the countdown, which looks shit and, it, and I, I completely understand it, but again, the word commitment is there, you have booked to do this in advance so you kind of know what you're getting into. But yes, I can understand how frustrating that can be. But if you are someone who you think I might not come one week and I haven't booked it, just don't get countdown in the first place. Like, in a nutshell, if you haven't booked time off, just say you are on week four of your 12 week countdown and you haven't booked week five as a holiday, but you, for whatever reason, have had a very, very bad weekend and you think, oh, I really don't want to weigh in this week because I know it's going to be a big gain. I don't want to face the scales. You can't not go. If you don't go to group, you lose the rest of your countdown, to which then in week six, you will have to start paying again, which essentially means that you've lost, I mean, just say you did five weeks, so you've essentially lost 25 quid that you're not getting back. So Slimming World have gained 25 pounds off you and you now have to carry on paying, which as you can see, you could be very, very annoyed at that. And I don't feel that that's explained very well on a regular basis. We as social teams read what's on the screen and I try and explain it as well as possible to people in advance. But there's a lot of people who, I mean, we're adults for the most part. Like 
I don't know what I'm doing in three months. I don't even know what date it's going to be in three months' time. Like, I have no idea what is happening. Obviously, there are a couple of ways around this. You can go to another group. That's fine. You don't have to go to that group. You can go to, just say, you go to a Wednesday night group like I do. You can attend that week. There are loads of other groups. If that's the only group you can go to and you can't go that week, you will just have to kind of swallow it and just lose the rest of your money. I don't think there are any ways around that. My consultant has, has said a few times that there is no way you will just lose the countdown. So if you do miss a group, that's, that is basically the downside to the countdown, that if you don't make a group and you haven't booked it in advance, you lose the rest of it. If you do book your holidays in advance, these get added onto your countdown, if that makes sense. So if you are booking a 12 week countdown and you have a holiday that you have booked in there, you will take your countdown will technically end 13 weeks later. Like that doesn't count as a day because you've already booked it off. So you your countdown would be 13 weeks. I had a lady who was going to Australia for five weeks but wanted a countdown. So she essentially got 17 weeks on her countdown, which Again, great idea if you know when your time is going to be off. The question I get a lot of the time is, can I book a holiday whilst I'm on my countdown? And the answer is no. You can book a holiday for a date that's after your countdown, like when it's going to end, but you cannot book a holiday during your countdown for during your countdown, if that makes sense. If you're on week two and you need to week book week four off, you can't do that. You can't come up to me and just say, I need, the, I need the, um, the Wednesday off in two weeks time. It won't let you do that because you are technically on countdown. You've already committed to one, so no, you can't. You will have to go to another group or try and come, or if not, you will just have to forfeit the rest of your countdown. Again, it is very, very frustrating and I get that and I completely see where the flaws are, but I do feel like it isn't explained very well. I know that it is a good commitment slash money making thing I feel for Slimming World even though they are technically losing out on the two weeks if someone is committed but obviously they're still getting that person through the door every week so you do get that that kind of part of it um but yeah I don't feel like it's something that's covered very well in Slimming World and I feel like I wish it was because I get I get the brunt of it when people either can't make it to a group or you know they come up to me and say can I buy a 12 week countdown I say you need to booking holiday now and then they say well I don't know when I'm going to need time off over the next like three months to which I then have to say well you know you can go for it and just wing it but you can't take any time off once you've gone ahead like this is booked in them for good and obviously if they're not happy about that little old me here gets the brunt of the um the annoyance from the person. Basically wanted to put out there a few little tips I can't I'm sure there's more I need to say about this because I always feel like it's my one bugbear that I always have with Slimming World and doing the social team that it's not explained well enough and that it's almost my job to have to explain it to people a lot of the time and it does annoy me but it's also like I don't mind doing it but just not when people are obviously then a bit arsy with me like that's a bit like I don't get paid for this like I literally do this out of the goodness of my own heart but I suppose not everyone's going to be happy and I get that but I do feel like it's something that needs to be explained. I feel like I have more that I need to say about this, but then at the same time I feel like I've kind of said everything. If you think I might have missed anything, or if you have any questions, please, please let me know in the comments below and I will answer them. Any questions about one, if you're thinking about going on one, or if you're new to Slimming World and want to have one, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them for you. But until next time, it should be around about just less than a month when I do my next Slimming World update for you guys. So until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!